Hey guys, Brad Pros with Chilies and Smoke, and I'm here with my buddy Chef Rohan. We're here with Team Pit Boss today, cooking on this new device. What is this? This is the new Champion Barrel Smoker from Pit Boss, of course, and it's really amazing because three full grates, a new door that you can open uh, to get a direct access to the charcoal and uh, to, to add some wood. Uh, the card is included, the shelves are included, and uh, wow, it's just amazing. Yeah. Rohan, tell us what we're doing. We're gonna make, uh, you know, pork and apples. Uh, we're gonna make uh, an apple butter. Ooh. Yep. We will smoke some ap uh, apples, mm. and we will, of course, smoke the meat. So uh, we need a, a rack of pork. Okay. Okay. A full and, one. And you already Frenched this yes, and prepped it. Yes, I Frenched it. the bones, yeah. Okay, perfect. We need for um, the glaze that we will use on, uh, on the meat. It's more than a glaze because we will cook it, okay, during okay. smoking. Uh, well, we need some, uh, a quarter of a cup of molasses. Okay. Okay. A uh, quarter of a cup of um, uh, Dijon mustard Ooh. and two tablespoons of uh, granny mustard. Okay. First, we need to rub the meat. Perfect. We will cook in hot and fast at around 300. Okay. Okay, 400 degrees. Uh, we would use only one chunk of wood. It's enough because if you put more wood, you will go over the taste of, of the pork. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, this looks great. I can't wait to get this in here. And now, how are we gonna do the apples and the pork and everything all together at the same time? There is three 22 inches uh, wide grates. <laughs> so, we have more than enough space to do everything, potatoes, apples, and, uh, and the pork. And I can see how there's so many different layers of the racks like this. There's actually three, which is really cool. Like you could really fit a it. lot of stuff in here. Exactly, <laughs> we will put the apples under the, the meat, so we will collect the drippings oh my uh, on the apples. And then the potato under the apples. Wow, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So Brad, now we need to put one chunk of wood to smoke the meat okay right. on the charcoal and you know what is fantastic with that grill is that you know on any other barrel smoker you have to remove all the grates yeah when you can op open the door and you have a direct access to the to the charcoal that's so handy so let's smoke the meat for maybe two hours okay okay sounds good yeah we're gonna make the uh, apple butter okay all right cool so for the potato, I would just add some rosemary, fresh rosemary, inside a pan, and we will cover it, okay, with a foil. Okay. And that's it. Salt and pepper, of course. A little salt bay. <laughs> yeah. And I like how you're just using simple flavors again. Mm -hmm. You know, that's always a staple in French cooking. Good ingredients, yeah. fresh stuff, simple flavors. These are really small potatoes, so we can just put them in the same time as the, the meat at one uh, at 300. Here, let me lift up the grate yep. and then you put the potatoes underneath. Yes. No, let's do the butter. For the butter, we need um, a small onion or just half one. So, half is enough. Okay, one garlic clove. Just one? Just <laughs> one, yeah. One garlic clove usually means three, but I get it, it's apple butter. Yeah. <laughs> it's not garlic butter. <laughs> no, 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 no. And we need two uh, Granny Smith apples um, because they are tart and we will put some sugar and the butter. So it's not a dessert, it's just a, a meal, okay? Yeah. So we are more in the salty part, uh, but the apples and the butter and the sugar would be just fine for the, the, the pork. So let's peel the apples. Okay. Now we're gonna make some cubes. All right. And cook everything with some butter. <laughs> of course, it's gonna of make course. it better.
Okay, we are ready to cook. We need uh, the pan, the cast iron pan. Okay, I got the cast iron pan for you. Yep. All right. Okay, thank you. And of course, some butter. Let's cook <laughs> is that it. it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's cook it. We'll do this first. Let's get this on the top here. And then how long is this gonna need to cook? Maybe 10 minutes. We need that the hopper be uh, tender, mm -hmm. really, really, really tender, mm -hmm. okay? Um, same for the onions. Okay. They need to be really soft. Hey, it works. Yes, it works. It's a big hole, but uh, at least there is no seed anymore. <laughs> so, bread. Maybe you fill the apples with butter. Sure, let's do it. How much did you need in each one? A big teaspoon. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just put the butter right inside? Yep. Okay. Do you know you have really good butter here in the US? Yeah? Yeah. I do like to hear that. I always think Europe has just amazing butter. It's almost the same taste. Wow. Yeah, almost the same taste. That's good to know. All right, so we got some butter inside. What's next? Okay, just some cinnamon. Okay. Okay. All right, just sprinkled right over yeah, the top? Yes, exactly. Okay. Not too much. Okay. okay, and then just a little bit of nutmeg? Exactly. Okay. Nutmeg and cinnamon are great on apples. And with pork. And with pork. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? Yes, it is. It is <laughs> definitely yes. But uh, the only one thing is that the holes that I made are maybe too large, so we should add a bit of butter. That's a good problem yeah. to have. Yeah. I'll get on it. Okay, we'll double up on the butter. Yeah. According to Chef Rohan. I got Perfect. it. Perfect. <laughs> Let's put uh, the apples under, under the meat. All right. All right, there we go. Wow, that pork is looking good too. Let me lift up this grate real quick. All right, and then I'm gonna position the pork over the apples over as well. The apples, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move it just a little bit there. So we got the potatoes foiled up, we've got the apples with the pork on top. We're gonna have a big meal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now the hardest part. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make the base, right? Exactly. <laughs> I think I can handle yeah. this one. Okay, so this is uh, just molasses. Yeah. Okay, perfect. One of my favorite ingredients in barbecue right here. Mm -hmm. We don't have molasses in, in France. What? Not at all. Wow, at all. so what yeah. would you use instead of this? In Belgium, we get, a, a, we get a, a syrup and it's made from apples and pears. So I just add the grainy mustard. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. my kind of amount of Dijon right here. Wow, this is gonna be an amazing base to go on the pork. It's nice and thick. It's yes. gonna be dark and sweet. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be beautiful on the, on the meat. Now look at that. Now how often are we gonna base the pork? After the first 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, and we will uh, glaze the meat for maybe any 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so time for basting now. Okay. I'll go ahead and get the top. Want to be careful when basting too, because you don't want to brush off all the, the right, spices. Yeah. yeah, this smells incredible. Mm -hmm. I can still smell that wood chunk that you put in there earlier too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, we're gonna get a great color. Yeah. Okay. I miss any spots? No, all good. Right. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Let's check the apples. Okay. Okay. You see they are wow. really soft, really tender. Yeah. So we just remove the pan from the fire and let those apples uh, cool. Okay. okay. We need to cool them and mix them with the butter. Check that out. Look how tender that is already. Wow. That smells so good. It smells very good. <laughs> All right, we'll get this cooling. 
So we've cooled down the apple mixture. Yep. Got it in the blender now. Yep. Um, everything's still in the smoker. What do we got to do next? Um, mix it with the uh, with one stick of butter. Yes. <laughs> More butter. My man. <laughs> So the butter is ready, okay? Mm, looks good, nice yes, and thick. Yes, it looks good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It needs to be smooth, mm -hmm. and it is. It's thick. Perfect, so what's next? I, we pretty much done? We don't, we oh. don't. All right, let's we don't. pull it off. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look nice. at that. Look at that amazing color. Yes, it's beautiful. Wow. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Set that on the board. And then I'll grab these trays under here. Here are, here are the baked apples. And then we've got these potatoes that were just wrapped up the whole time. I can't wait to see all this. All right, so we've got it pulled off. The roast is done. Yep. You've got the potatoes. We've got yep. the baked apples here. Yes. And then this awesome, look at this <laughs> super thick apple butter. This is crazy good. Mm -hmm. and, my question is, is how are you going to eat the apple butter with all this? I want to know how you'd be diving um, in. I would just slice uh, uh, one pork chop and uh, just put a tablespoon of butter on top of it. Tablespoon? Yes, a tablespoon, of course. <laughs> you want two? That's it? You want two? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. Those apples look amazing, smoky. Smoky. Almost like they're tender. caramelized. Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly tender. Look at this, guys. We've got this amazing platter, the smoked pork, and remind us what again that glaze was on. Oh, the glaze was Dijon mustard, granny mustard, and molasses. It's so simple. Yeah. Look at this. Easy to do. Simple ingredients, super complex plate. This is amazing. No, thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it, and uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cooking with thank me you. yet again. <laughs>